Hi, and welcome to this video where I quickly show you how to make a seamless pattern in Procreate. The first thing that I like to do is to make a concept and then find a good color palette for it. And for this one, I chose Cottage Core and chose these colors that you can see above. When creating a seamless pattern, I definitely recommend making things look really random and just putting things into different places. To help things look random, I recommend having many of the same things. So a lot of strawberries, like you can see on this picture, or more than one mushroom. What I did wrong here is that I put both a fox and a frog that does not have any duplicates. By doing that, I kind of ruined the uh, illusion of randomness, which makes the pattern a bit less interesting. Another tip is to leave some of the corners a bit more open, so there's a bigger open space there, because you're going to be filling these up later, and if you only leave tiny spaces, you can only put tiny pictures. And making bigger spaces will make it easier for you to make bigger drawings, which will make the pattern more seamless and more polished. When you're ready to move on to the next step, you have to save the picture, and to do that, you go into Settings and Share, and click on PNG. And then you're gonna save that picture as a PNG file, and we're gonna be making this PNG into the seamless pattern. So what we do now is that we go onto our gallery and then we go to the right corner and click on photo. Then we'll get this tab up and then you click on that photo that you just saved. Now you need to duplicate that layer that you have. To do that, you just click on that layer and you drag it out and now you got two. Then you wanna click on the arrow on the left corner of the screen then we're going to be activating snapping and also the magnetics in the setting that you can see here. Now we take one of our layers and we move them to the side like so. And then we take our downer layer and we move it to the other side. And as you can see, the layers go together perfectly because of the snapping feature that we just put on. Without that, this would be a whole mess. What we do now is that we fill in the new empty spaces that we just made with objects that are already in the picture. I recommend drawing them and not just copying and pasting because it's gonna help make it look more random. Now we're gonna be doing the same process as before. Now I've already merged all of the layers together and then after that I copied it as you can see now and then I move the pictures but instead of going to left and right we're going up and down. So one of the layers goes up and the other layer goes down and then we make new spaces that we're gonna be filling in. Here you can see me drawing in more objects that are already in the picture to make it look more random. Now on to the last step to see if the pattern is seamless or not. I copy the picture or the layer three times so that I have four of them. And it's important that I still have on the snapping thing. And then I take the first picture and I put it in the corner until the snapping says that this is enough. You can see the yellow lines that show up. That's when you know that you need to stop then you put all the pictures together so that they form one singular pattern. And this is the final result. You can see that it looks pretty nice and random except for the animal hats which kind of ruin the illusion because I don't have more different versions of them around the picture. Here are a few more seamless patterns that I made using this method. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.